Hey guys, Pride here. Check it out. I finally finished uh, my first version of the Uvel deck. Now I'm still testing it, but I'm hoping when I bring it to locals, tests were good. Now I was missing one card in the extra deck, but I did bring my this deck to locals last week. Honestly, I did fairly well. I didn't top. I went. Uh, it was a five round tournament. I got two wins, three losses, but it was a closed match. Anyway, first up, I run all. Ubel, Ubel Terror Incarnate, and Ultimate Nightmare. Now I know now I know a lot of people don't run Ultimate Nightmare, but I find it uh, actually pretty necessary for the combo. Plus for the grind game because it's real handy. Three of our own personal hand trap, Spirit of Ubel. This card is insane. One, it can summon itself from the hand if your opponent launches an attack. Doesn't matter if it's against a monster or you, you can summon this card. Then on special summon, you can actually search a card that mentions you bell uh, from deck to hand. Or actually, let me rephrase that. I actually let you search a spell or trap card. You can either add it to hand or place it face down on the field. So that's a way to get out, get around draw. Next, three Sun Sarah Lotus. This card is not only a starter, but an interruption. You can summon this card and activate its effect to tribute itself, meaning your opponent cannot stop it with imperm or whatever. And you can special summon Ubel, the original, or Spirit of Ubel from your deck. And if Ubel happens to be on the board, and I'm talking about the original here, uh, and this card's in your graveyard, it has the ability to either summon itself back from grave, so in case you need a tribute, you can just tribute it off, or add to your hand. Now, if this card does remain on the board, even when your opponent's turn starts, it acts as an interruption. So when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can activate this card, and basically it changes the effect to destroy one Ubel uh, we control. So say if I have both of these out, your poem, my opponent activates a monster card, I activate this card, tribute itself for cost, and then boom, they blow this card up and I summon Terra Incarnate. Next for Unchained, I run Shyama and Shyvara. This is the first time I've ever used Unchained cards in a competitive format. I mean, they are a lot of fun and key to the strategy. They help, they help us summon Triple D Highway King Caesar. This card, uh, you, it's actually a quick effect destruction. A lot like that one mummy card we're going to be getting in the next wave of support. Uh, you can destroy one of your fiends and summon this card. And it's a quick effect. And this card leaves the field. Take a uh, Unchained uh, sp Trap card or whatever. Spell or Trap. Place it face down. And that's the key part. And that Trap card is the key part to get this card out. This card is in your graveyard. You can actually destroy a monster you control to summon it back. And it has another ability to destroy another monster you control while it's on the field. And then you have the option, you don't have to, but you have the option to destroy a spell or a trap card after that. Next up, Dark Beckoning Beast. Honestly, we just use this to get the continuous uh, spell opening the spirit gates and the extra normal summon. That's pretty much all this is used for, fodder. For hand traps, I run three Ash Blossom. Uh, basically, one of the best hand traps you can run, and the MVP of this format, three Dimension Shifter. This card is insane and works extremely well with the deck. Now, honestly, once we get the next wave of support, I might switch uh, some things around with the hand traps. I mean, like, because Ghost Spell is also good, but I also am running Ghost Spell in this deck, but we'll get to that eventually. But for now, this card is a really good card to have in your Ubel deck. It basically shuts down all, like, literally every deck, every competitive deck in this format, I believe. Now, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. I always like to be, I always like to be informed about what's currently meta or not. All I know is what I see on my locals and when I go to regionals. That's all I'm saying. Next, I run two Ghost Bell. Again, the graveyard is prevalent in this format. So both Ghost Bell and Shifter are really good and if you're ever able to run both that's insane and for the last monster to Nibir all right like I said that's it for the monsters yeah I gotta yeah now for the spells first up it's a Ubel deck so three super polymerization for obvious reasons and now we got the new Ubel spell nightmare pain this card is insane and it helps you win a lot of games First effect is you can destroy one dark monster on either your field or your hand to search a card that mentions you bell other than Nightmare Pain. 
And while this card is face on the board, your opponent has to attack, if it, their monster are able, has to attack your Ubel monsters. So say if they're in defense mode, and the, that means they can't attack. But if they're in attack mode, they have to attack. They cannot just skip straight to end phase. For searching, I put three pure race maps. Honestly, this card is insane. But once we get the field spell, it, that field spell is probably going to take the place of the pure race map. Because it can search, that card can also search nearly every one of your monsters. It can search any of your bells. Even, it can even search Dark Beckoning Beast once we get that field spell. But the caveat is, you can only activate this card, uh, it has to be the first card you activate during your main phase one, and as soon as you do, you lose half your life points. Which is why I'm also looking forward to that field spell, because that doesn't happen. Next up, we're in two opening the spear gates. This card is to help me bring back you bell monsters, uh, to help me with my combos, as well as recycle some of my continuous spells in case they happen to be destroyed. Now, contrary to popular belief, I do run Mature Chronicle. Now, people... Now, sure, this card can search uh, Super Poly, but it has other effects. Such as its first effect, it, it can bring a Ubel monster back from the graveyard or banished. And it's the second it hits the field, it's literally the first effect. You use one counter to bring it back. The second it hits the field, you gain that counter back. You're basically paying nothing. It also lets you recycle from your banished. It also lets you destroy. Like, it has a multitude of other effects people are not taking into account here. Anyway. For hand trap protection, I run one called by. And finally... I run one, one for one. Well, try saying that five times fast. Anyway, this card's pretty obvious. Use this card to summon uh, some Saturday Lows. Anyway, that's it for the spells. And I only run two traps. I actually do not run impermanence. I run Escape of the Unchained. Honestly, this card is just fodder for so I can destroy it to bring about the second level six Unchained to summon High Wave King Caesar. And then Eternal Favorite, which is the built-in archetype Super Poly, as well as a card that helps you bring back Ubel from your graveyard. Which is insane. Does it per save graveyard or ban its own too? Let's see here. Yeah, banished for graveyard, which is cool. Anyway, now for the extra deck. Oh, sorry, let the card out. I run two of our new fusion, the Loving Defender Ubel. This card is insane. It just requires one Ubel monster, so any form of hers will work. And any number of other face-up monsters on the field, so provide their effect monsters. Now when this card is summoned, basically it deals with your opponent 500 per material, and if they bow this card, actually it doesn't matter who's attacking, because if I attack it or they attack me, they're still taking damage. Anyway. After this card battles a monster, it actually banishes that monster, which could come in handy in multitude of situations. For some super poly targets, I run Garua, Mud Dragon, uh, Earth Golem. Honestly, this this does come up. And finally, one of my favorite uh, cards in the game, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. This card is actually one of my favorites. That's it for the fusions. For Xyz, I run Gustav Max from Bird Damage, obviously. It actually comes in handy for game. It actually came in handy, uh, we're in game three, hardly any time left, and this Burn Damage actually helped me get game, which was insane. And for Interruption, Triple D, High Wave, King Caesar. I don't know, I mentioned it a few times. Like, it's obvious you gotta run this card, it's insane. For Lynx, I run one Nightmare Unicorn. One Muckcracker. One Abyss Actor Super Producer. This card is insane because it's a quick effect that I can destroy one of my monsters. And you don't even have to activate the other two effects. It's basically optional. And then for the Unchains, I run one Yama for the Search. One Rage for the Interruption. One Anguish, you know, just in case. It actually did come in handy. And finally, one Abomination. I run all the Unchains. Anyway, that's today's deck profile. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!